it's Sunday, July 16th, 2023, and we are going to play today's Connections, the new word game from the New York Times, currently in beta. I suspect it's going to be a hit. Uh, if this is your first time watching, uh, we did a great tutorial video uh, a little bit back. You can check it out on this channel. Uh, it'll be highly instructive, but to summarize, we're working with a 4x4 four four grid of words, 16 words in total, and we're looking to assign them into four groups of four words each that have something in common, some commonality, a group. Uh, and so it is a fun game, and let's get started. Uh, today, we have the following words, nickel, rainbow, Penny, zinc, half, quarter, clover, again, horseshoe, neck, iron, dime, tin, lead, so, and moon. And oh, this is interesting. Uh, something we've seen now. Uh, there's a group that immediately comes to mind, but there's five members of the group, which means that one is kind of a red herring that straddles two groups and is kind of there to throw you off. I'm thinking of nickel, zinc, quarter, I, uh, I'm sorry, iron, lead, and tin uh, elements. Uh, now, obviously, uh, one of these is not in this group. And now that I look at it a little closer, boy, I think we're in good shape. We're going to take nickel out and put tin in. Zinc, iron, lead, and tin. And the reason I say that is I see a second group right off, right off the top of my head, uh, which is even more prominent, and that is nickel, quarter, uh, dime and penny. Obviously, these are coins. So I think that's the super low-hanging fruit. Let's just go ahead and take it. And in fact, there you go, U.S. coins, and it was, in fact, the quote-unquote easiest. So off to a great start. Could be a quick solve here today. Uh, I still uh, stand by my second uh, group, zinc, tin, iron, and lead. And I'm pretty confident that there we go, types of metals. Uh, let's see. Metal elements, there you go. All right, so we're making quick work of this connections today. And so here it is, we're down to eight words. Horseshoe, rainbow, clover again, neck, half, so in moon. Okay, all right. Uh, horseshoe, clover, and rainbow. Uh, I feel like those are related to luck or being lucky. A horseshoe, a four-leaf clover, a rainbow is a harbinger of luck uh, to many folks. So now the question is, what's the fourth member? Again, neck, half, so, and moon. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. So in order, I mean, we kind of have to sort of work out what is the other group, right? Um, hmm, that's interesting. What on earth do these words have in common? Clearly, that's going to be the obscure group, the tricky one. And the word so in there is like, okay, it's so, S-O, like, um, you know what I think? Is it possible that these words could be put in a phrase. Hear me out. This is weird. Could these be words that are put into a phrase with the word full? Full moon, half full, so full, but then what's the fourth? Full neck, neck full, full again, again full. Like, hmm. I feel like I'm so close. Like I know that one of these fits with horseshoe, rainbow, and clover is a harbinger of luck. Like, I don't think a neck is lucky. Is a moon lucky? Could a moon be lucky? Maybe. Possibly. But I also feel like it go, It could go with the other words. So if we had moon is luck, again, half, neck, or so. Hmm. Uh, tie, half, no. Neck, tie, no. Um... Could they? No, they're not. They're not shapes. Hmm. Like I wonder, and I have all my guesses available. Do I just take a shot in the dark at trying to join horseshoe, rainbow, and clover with something? Like maybe moon. Like I can't. I can't think of a way that you associate any of these other words with luck, and I'm confident that that's the category. So maybe uh, moon might 
represent luck in some cultures. I don't know, but it's possible. I'm going to try that. Let's just take a swing at this. What do we get? Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms. These are shapes from the Lucky Charms. There's, there's right. There's the clover. There's the horseshoe, the moon, and the rainbow. So I, the luck theme, I was there. I just didn't bring it home with <laughs> Lucky Charms. So we got it. So we know we're going to win today. But I think for bonus points, it's always cool to see if we can figure out what on God's green earth, which is the words so, S-O, again, half and neck have to do with each other. Um, hmm. Interesting. Um, it's not ties, neck, uh, stretching, um, again. What does the word again mean? You know, it's, it's it, again, repetition. Uh, uh, so... Again, half, neck. Uh, they're not part of a song lyric or a movie title. Um, I feel, see, here's what I, here's, I'm going to, my guess is going to be vague. I don't think I'm going to nail it. I think that, here's what I think. My suspicion is that these four words pair with some other common word that I don't know what it is. That's what I think is going on. I just can't in my mind put together what the the complement word is that all four of these could go with like like uh like a necktie but there's nothing as a half tie again tie so there's some other word that's going to be my guess here i know it's a little weak sauce but i think it has something to do with these words go with another common word uh that's what i'm going to go with so we're going to select these and let's find out if i was right or wrong uh what is the category here Oh, blank and blank. Oh, so-and-so. Again and again. Neck and neck. <laughs> oh, there we go. I, I'm going to give myself a miss on that. I didn't get it. I knew they were connected to another word, but that's kind of a weird twist on it. Like, oh, man. Well, you know what? This... This, ladies and gentlemen, are what YouTube comments are for. I want you to comment and tell me if you give me credit for that or if I was too far off the mark to get credit for that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let the people decide, let the viewers decide if my, uh, if my theory was close enough to get any credit for it. Well, folks, this is a super fun game, Connections. I'm having a blast. Uh, so I'll keep playing this as long as people keep watching it. So uh, let me know how you did today, and uh, I'll see you next time. Uh, right here on Doug Man's Land.